getting ready for my flight the first one in four months very exciting starting off with my wonder glow primer before i apply my skin glow by dior foundation this one gives me amazing coverage a good glow and it doesn't make me break out like other foundations do so i apply this everywhere very exciting going for a flight. I haven't been flying in so long and it's about time to get back at it. Now I'm applying my concealer under my eyes, above my nose, around my chin area. I actually didn't sleep that much today. Um, it is a night flight tonight. I come back in the morning I'm so used to having a normal sleeping schedule, so I really will take some time to adjust to these crazy hours. And then I've got my Laura Mercier Perfecting Powder, which I apply all over to give my skin that additional glow. And then my Benefit Bronzer on a Stick, which I like to apply with an eyeshadow brush so that I can contour my face properly. So you guys are probably wondering where I'm flying to. I'm flying to Pakistan, Lahore to be specific. And my pickup is in a few hours, so I've got time. I'm meant to be arriving tomorrow morning at around 5 a.m., so it is gonna be a long night. And that is why it's so important to wear long-lasting makeup. And I'm going to blend in my bronzer with my makeup sponge. Blend, blend, blend. And then I'm going to apply additional bronzer with my makeup brush. Again, blending, so important. And next is blush. So I don't use anyone in particular. They all do the same job for me, but I'm using this dark pink one just on the apples on my cheeks and then my Urban Decay eyeshadow in Midnight Cowgirl that I do use as a highlighter on the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, top of my cheekbones, and under my eyebrows. Then it's eyeshadow time. So I'm using Urban Decay Cherry eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited to fly. I just, I think four months is such a long break. Um, and it's pretty surreal actually. There's not many flights going as you've probably guessed but the ones that are and the ones that we do get to operate are pretty special so I'm just applying eyeshadow all around and then my waterproof eyeliner again there's no particular brand that I use it's a different one every time just as long as it is waterproof as I am operating long hours and my makeup needs to stay put And then it is time for mascara, which is the final step to my makeup regime. Normally I do use eyelash extensions or I get eyelash extensions done, but while I'm not flying that much at the moment, there really is no point spending that money. So mascara it is. My hair is pretty oily. I haven't washed it in a few days. It doesn't matter because I'm putting it up anyway. Brush it out. I love that feeling of just letting my hair down. And then it's time to put it in a bun. So yeah, that is the requirement for my airline to either wear a bun or a French twist. I did try French twist for a long time, but I could never kind of get it right. So bun is so much easier. It's more manageable. 
and for my hair it looks much neater. There are some girls that can do French twists really well but I'm unfortunately not one of them. Then it's hairspray of course, need to keep all the flyaways in place, all the baby hairs. Spray, spray, spray. And it's my makeup setting spray. So I use the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray. It keeps my makeup in place for so long. It's by far my favorite. And then it's time for my accessories. So earrings, diamond earrings, not real of course. My watch, which is mandatory. Yay. And then, because I got time before the flight, I have to have a coffee. So I put my Nespresso capsule in. Favorite part of my routine. And then I like to have my 90% dark chocolate with it for the energy boost. Listen to some music, pump myself up for the flight. And then it's time to put my uniform on. So exciting, it's been so long since I wore this uniform. I've missed it so much. My skirt is loose on me, I have lost weight. Might have to get a new one soon. Spray some perfume. My hat, the final touch. And then face mask, of course, that we have to wear. And then it's time to go.